up guys, I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. Today we're gonna show you how we get a mirror shine on our camper for only 25 bucks, so stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. If it's your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, join the Vibe Tribe, and come along with us on all of our journeys. So we have been using this shining process for about two years now. The last time we put a coat on was exactly a year ago, and we still have some shine to it. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're gonna show you the process we use today. So this is specifically better for vintage trailers whose gel coat has probably seen better days. Ours is very porous, it holds dirt and grime really easily, and it just doesn't have the same luster and shine that it used to. Newer rigs you could probably just do fine with a regular old wash and wax, but these old campers need a little bit more attention, and so we found an awesome way to restore that shine to our camper. Exactly, but the first step of the whole process is to give this baby a good wash down because we don't want to encapsulate any grime whenever we put that uh, coating on. So let's get started washing the camper. Finally, one side is completed. So on to the next side. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the roof on the other side and then we'll get started washing the body of the trailer. All right guys, so now we're gonna start waxing this camper to get a mirror finish. The tool we use is floor polish. Now, like we said earlier, we don't recommend this on brand new rigs. We don't recommend this on any rig that already has a nice shine to it. Uh, and honestly, use your own judgment to figure out if it would work for you on the type of rig you have. But on our vintage fiber stream, it was absolutely no shine when we got it. We were really struggling to find a good solution. And once we tried this floor wax, the result was amazing. A lot of people use Zep. This is the first time we're gonna be using Zep in the past. We just went to Home Depot and got any floor wax they had. So today we are using Zep though. To make this job a little easier, or first let me say, this costs 25 bucks. This is really all you need, and then you should be able to find some things around your house to be able to do the rest of the job, uh, like some rags. We've used old t-shirts in the past, or just rags, whatever you can find to apply it. Doesn't need to be micro cloth in my experience. And then what's really useful is to pour the floor wax in something like this, just so it's easier to apply to the cloth. Otherwise, you're gonna find yourself carrying this thing around and dabbing it uh, every few minutes and it just gets super heavy. So after, uh, you know, some trial and doing it the hard way, I realized that using a sprayer was the best way to do it. So all we'll do to begin with is apply it uh, directly to the cloth to start, but you know, you can apply it to the camper too as long as you start wiping immediately. And then we'll just work our way around. We wanna work on a dry surface. We wanna let it dry for 30 minutes before we reapply, which is usually a perfect amount of time for me to work my way around the camper and just continuously do it a few times. One coat will have it looking good. Multiple coats will have it looking amazing. So let's get rolling.
So we have one side done. Now I'm gonna come around to the back side and get to work. As you can see, I was just spraying it and quickly uh, working it in. That seems to be the best method. This is my fourth time doing this project. And uh, you know, it, it's good to do multiple go arounds because it's hard to tell always if you get every single spot. So if you can do about three go arounds on the rig, that'll take you about an hour and a half, but it'll really give you a uniform look in the end. So I'm gonna work on this back section and uh, yeah, see what we're working with. All right, so every time in the past that I've done this, I've just gone right over the vinyl lettering. It doesn't seem to affect it. It's been in good condition, you know, for the last two years since we've been doing this. One of the other main concerns I hear people talk about whenever um, this floor polish is applied to a side of a camper, you know, they say obviously it's not meant for that purpose, yada yada, and I can get on board with that. It is probably not meant for this purpose. And they worry about yellowing. Now, our camper was pretty old to begin with. Uh, we're working like 30 years old, and it was always off-white since we've gotten it. Over the last two years where we have applied the floor wax, I can't really tell if it's gotten any more yellow. I mean, you've guys seen a lot of pictures of our rig, and I don't think yellowing is ever an issue whenever people look at those pictures. But where it is noticeably off-white, whether it's from the rig being old or from doing this floor wax, is whenever you see like the AC shroud on that extremely stark white plastic, there is a contrast between that white and the white of our rig. So I don't know if you can chalk that up to old age or chalk that up to floor wax, but either way, uh, our rig is not stark white. Um, so I can't tell you if it would make a stark white surface um, slightly yellowed because our rig is more of a off-white so but you've seen our rig for the last two and a half years and uh i don't think you guys has ever no one's ever commented that they've seen yellowing so it doesn't seem to be a big issue All right, so I just completed one full pass around the entire rig. I can already see a difference. I mean, I think on camera you can probably see a difference too. It's glowing in the sun. But I am gonna do two more passes on here, uh, and then I will uh, touch base with you guys again and see where we're at. Hopefully the plan is today to hitch up, tow it down to the bay during sunset. I would love to do this during that time and get some great shots of it completely getting the sun glisten and looking beautiful. Tomorrow we are gonna be working on the door. Once that's finished, it is gonna be a whole new camper. Let me wrap up with these um, two more passes and then we'll touch base with you guys again. So let's get this baby shining. All right, y'all, so I just wrapped up the third go around three layers on there. Before we do the big reveal down by the bay where we'll get some good sunlight, I wanted to one more time go over really what we use today. With the main product being this Zep, I use the wet floor um, polish, the wet look floor polish. They also have an industrial strength um, polish that's not as wet looking but that might withstand the test of time better. But this cost um, $24.95 at Lowe's is where I got it. You can probably get it on Amazon for even cheaper. I'll link that below in case you're interested in getting this stuff. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it again. Let me say, let me make clear that it's not a thing for new rigs. It's not something you wanna do to something that already has a nice shiny coat to it. This is what we used to restore the, um, you know, chalky, dingy look of our molded fiberglass rig. And it really did a um, 
big benefit to it. But again, use your best judgment if this is something that you even think about. And even before doing it, maybe just use it on a test area of your rig that's gonna be out of sight so you can see how it will respond to it. But let's hook this camper up, drive down to the bay and get the big showing, see what this old girl looks like nice and cleaned up. y'all so there it is and I can't say that I'm disappointed I'm very happy with the outcome of this uh, wax polish yes and just one thing to keep in mind is you might want to do it on a day that isn't very windy because some stuff did blow down out of the tree and kind of dry into the wax I'm sure that will come off in a few washings but that's just something to keep in mind if you try this on your rig yeah for sure I was very careful every time I went around to remove stuff but on that last go around, stuff still set in and I didn't catch it on the way back around. So that's a bummer, but it's only in a very minor spots on one side of the rig, but overall it just looks so uniform and so shiny. Yes, it is so shiny that we can see ourselves in it now and like it is beautiful. It looks like it's brand new. So if you have an older rig and you're looking for a way to polish it up, this might be the way for you. You know, again, like I said, you might just want to do a little test area just to see if it's what you want. But again, I'll link everything below just in case you're interested. Yes, thank you guys so much for joining us today and we will see you next time. Later on. Bye guys.